I have a confession to tell you. This video is a confession video. And I'm sure a lot of other booktubers have this problem, but I'm a book hoarder. So my name is Jessie and I'm a book hoarder. Yes, yes I am. I'm guilty. I'm totally addicted to buying books. I spend a lot of money on books. I don't have a, um, I don't have a limit when I buy books. I go in for one, I come out with five. I go in for two, I come out with ten. Like, it just, there's no limit, no nothing, no rhyme, no reason. I just buy, 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 buy. And it gets a little bit ridiculous. So right now, I know I'm just starting my channel, but I'm putting myself on a bit of a book buying ban because I do have quite a big stack of books that I have to read. So today is just going to be about the books I have to read. So it's my to be read pile. So here we go. Okay, so the first book I'm going to be talking about today is A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. It's actually a novella. Um, it's a novella for the Beautiful Disaster series she wrote. Um, if you read those series, you know that two characters get married. And we don't get a lot of detail about it at all, so she kind of leaves you wondering. Well, Jamie McGuire wrote a novella about it, and you find it all in here. And I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, it's got a 4.9 on Goodreads, so it's written, written quite well. Um, it's not very long. It's about... I'm going to say about 160 pages long, so I'll probably finish this in one sitting. Um, I think it's going to be a good beach read. I'm just going to read it when I read it kind of thing. Okay, so the second book I'm talking about today is Oxygen by Carol Castella. I've never read anything by this author, so pretty excited about that. So I'll get right into what the book's about. It's about a doctor who makes a mistake on the operating table, and she's being sued, and she's dealing with some family stuff as well. Uh, pretty excited for this book. Found it on Goodreads. I think I'm going to enjoy the medical aspect of it. I think it's going to be a very realistic and well-written book because uh, the author, Castella, is actually a practicing doctor. So yeah, pretty excited for this one. So here I have The Secret of Raven Point by Jennifer Vanderbees. Um, she's apparently a award-winning author or something like that. She wrote Easter Island. I've never heard of her before. I actually got this book at the bargain table at Chapters. <laughs> uh, I love that. You just go and look through the bargain table and you find a little gem. So this book is a, about a 17 year old girl um, who basically goes to the World War II zone um, and she looks for her brother who's been reported missing in action. So yeah, I love myself a good historical fiction so I think this is going to be a pretty good book too. And here we have In Her Shoes by Jennifer Weiner. I picked up this book just before I went to New Zealand. I was looking for an easy read for the plane. I didn't get to it, so um, it's basically about two sisters, and they only have two things in common, their shoe size and a childhood tragedy. I've never read anything by this author, but um, it was made into a movie, so after I read the book, I'm definitely going to go watch the movie. I also have a little sister, so I can probably relate a little bit, but yeah, I think this one's going to be a good one. Nice easy read too. So this book is called My Secret Mother and it's by Phyllis Whitshell. Um, it's actually a true story. The author, Phyllis, she was adopted when she was younger and it's about her trying to find her biological mother. So I'm going to give this book a try. My grandma actually gave it to me and she really enjoyed it. So looking forward to it. Probably have a little discussion after with my granny about it. Okay, so the next book I have is a little bit different from most of the book books. It's actually a self-help book and it's called Fuck It Therapy and it's by John C. Parkin and I picked this book up about a year ago and I haven't read it yet so yeah my mom read it she really liked it. It's about the profound way to profound happiness or sorry the profane way to profound happiness so yeah it even has fuck it right there kind of cool. Um, I tried to read it like front to back and I don't think it's a type of book that you can. I don't think self-help books are so I'm actually gonna like pick at it while I'm reading something else so probably gonna start this one fairly soon. Alright guys we're getting close to the end of my to be read pile. I know it's quite long but anyways. Next book is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. Um, I've had this book for almost a year so you can tell it's kind of getting out of shape a little bit. I've carried it around with me a couple times. I've tried to read it um, I think it actually intimidates me a little bit, but I'm gonna get it done. It's apparently a pretty good book. Uh, it's about a supermodel's death and her brother hires a different private investigator and he gets it into it a little bit uh, too much and it becomes kind of personal. So yeah, a lot of people seem to like this book, so I'm gonna give it a shot. 
Alright guys, and here I have Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. So I've never read anything about her. Um, there's mixed reviews on this book. They say it's not as good as her other work. I haven't read any of her other work, so I have nothing to compare it to her other work. Um, they say it's not as good as Gillian Fl Flynn's books, but let's face it, Gillian Flynn, come on. <laughs> Gillian Flynn's one of my favorite authors, just saying. Anyways, I'm kind of excited for this book. I love a good thriller. I was on a thriller phase a little while ago, kind of got off it, and think I'm ready to go back into it, so yeah. It's about uh, two sisters, and they don't talk very much anymore um, since the disappearance of their other sister. Um, so one of the sisters, her husband dies, the two kind of make up, form a truce, and then they start to search for the secrets of their broken family, so to me that sounds pretty good. Death, disappearance, yeah, sounds like a pretty good thriller to me, so we'll give this one a shot. Okay guys. We are on the last book of my to be repile. Yay. Anyways, last book is Fifty Shades of Free by E.L. James. It is the third book in her Fifty Shades of Grey series. I've had this book for a little while. This book's been out for a while. Um, I read the first two and I've kind of lost interest in the series a little bit. I'm not going to go into detail really what it's about because we all know what those books are about. So yeah, I don't actually know if I'm going to read this. I'd like to, but like I said, lost interest in the series, but it's here on the shelf if I want to read it. So yeah, if you guys really think I should read this, let me know. Okay guys, so that wraps up my to be read pile, my book hoarder pile. I am a book hoarder. I just proved it. So yeah, um, this was like one of the bigger to be read piles I have, so that's why I kind of did a video on it. Like I said, I'm putting myself on a bit of a book buying ban. I want to read at least four or five of those books before I buy any more. Let's see how much willpower I have. If you guys have any tips to not buying books, let me know in below. Um, also, if you guys read any of those books and if you hate them or if you love them, let me know. I'd love to know your opinion on them. And if they're on your to be read pile, let me know as well. And I'd love to know what you guys are reading right now or planning to read. So hit me up, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.